What's going on guys? It's your friend the Iguana Man. We're back at y'all with another video. Today I'm meeting up with my friend Mike. He is from yeah, I'm from Blue Springs, Missouri. Blue Springs, Missouri. He's coming down here to help me do some iguana removal. But here's what's been going on. You guys know I just got this beautiful FX Impact M3 in the 22 caliber. But you know, I'm new to having a PCP air rifle like this, especially one with this really nice scope with all these different turrets. So my shooting, I'm not gonna lie, guys, hasn't been as consistent as I would like it to have been but but we think our friend mike right here has found out the solution why my gun is not shooting as accurate yeah it just had a loose picatinny rail up front here we just tightened it up and now he's shooting tacks so this right here guys as you can see right here there's a little allen key type of thingy that you would use to tighten it that was loose on the gun i don't know how or why but that, that should have been my you know responsibility to check it so it was a little bit wobbly. So every time I zeroed the gun and then when I go to in the field, it was just shooting a little bit off. But as you guys know, a little bit off makes a big difference yeah. when you're out here doing iguana removal. So our boy, Mike, he just helped us tighten it. We re-zeroed the scope. So let's go out there in the world of iguanas and see if we can put them in the bag. You ready, Mike? I'm ready. Let's do it. Um, oh, oh, he's good. Good shooting, man. Oh, he got him. Got him. Good shot, dude. Good shot. He stopped him right before he went in the water. He's right there. You can just use the pole. Use the net, yep. From this point on, the iguanas were popping up everywhere. It was nonstop action. Sunk him. Got him. Two up the tree. That's it. Got him. Good shot. All right, let's see if I'm out of ammo. So let's see if we can try to find what these ones are out of here. What happens is too is when she um, wow if we don't get her <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, if we don't get her when she floats we'll be able to get her. sweet nice. but dude yeah so you so you're saying these things are kind of tough huh they are tough they are tough pretty tough man these little dinosaurs. I'm shocked you know you got to just do what you got to do to just put them down and get them out you know right it's, it's not Taking easy over Florida, I was shocked at how many there are. Oh, I think he's sinking. You're uh, out. I'm so happy our boy Mike was uh, able to help us tight in up and uh, fix our FX Impact M3, making sure everything was tight. Mike, I'm blessed, man. I'm How was blessed. it, dude? How was it, man? Yeah, it's awesome. awesome. Everything dude. I thought it'd be. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and count these out because it's about a range. Okay. We got one, two, Really nice, man. 
So is this your first time out here hunting it? I mean, what uh, what were your expectation? Uh, in, what were your expectations? And uh, well, what do you think? I watched some of your videos, so I kind of knew what to expect. But yeah. we had a stellar day today. We shot a lot of iguanas. Oh, yeah. We shot a lot of iguanas. And we didn't recover too. We got the water or whatever. Yeah. I think we're gonna get wet. I think so too, man. Hey, that's all we have for you guys today. As you guys can see, it's about to rain. We got uh, 12 iguanas. Was it 11 or 12? We got 11. 11 iguanas on today's job. Sorry about that, y'all. But like I said, our boy Mike, he helped us with uh, one of the weak links in the FX we didn't know about. It could be with any gun. Basically, the Picatinny reel was uh, loose, loose and it was making the gun. I was zero and then the next day it would be off. So I was wondering if the scope was too zoomed in, if it was too far, you know, far of a scope. But it turns out it was just, it just needed a little TLC, it just needed to be tightened. Thanks, just need to tighten it. Like, yeah, so much, dude. Yeah. Hey, it's a pleasure. My pleasure. Oh, absolutely, dude. Absolutely, man. Iguana, man. Yo, if y'all got... If you want to kill iguanas, you go with these guys. Absolutely. If you guys ever want to book a tour, all my information is in the description down below. Hit me up, and uh, who knows, maybe you can come out here. Uh, like our bud Mike. Start uh, slaying some of these iguanas, y'all. They are taking over. So, we need to put them in the bag. That's all we have for you guys today. Like, comment, and hit the red subscribe button. Peace.